Yo, what's going on? It's the Cave. Smooth. Uncle Beans. Beans now. Uncle Beans now. Yeah. ASR. Yo, yo. MGD Film. Chantel, the intern. I changed it. Cheek the head. Now, I mean, what's good, man? From here on out, what we call Uncle Beans. Uncle Beans? I'm everybody's uncle, man. You and I'm your you favorite uncle's uncle. favorite uncle. Yeah, man. So I wanted to make it official today, man. From here on out, Uncle Beans, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? You still call me Beans, though, but just introduce me as Uncle. That's what it is. What up, man? This man does a seat change live on yeah, the radio. Yeah, live. Live on the radio. He up on a pedestal. Yeah. Look at it. He's sitting too bar, high, man. He can't control it, man. Uh, bar stool roof. Yeah, man. What's going on, man? You know, man. Talk to me same, smooth. Same shit, different Saturday, yo. Different Saturday. You know what I mean? Cheeking heads. Yeah. Back. I'm feeling pretty goddamn good. Right. What's this mix? This mix is quite all right. It's a mango in Amsterdam. And trust me? Oh. oh. Yeah, we got some trust me, man. Bring yeah, some trust trust me. Me. Bring the trust me over here. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, what's, what's going, going on, on in the sporting world, man? What is going on? Cavs dropped 25 threes last night. We kind of had a good laugh about that this morning. Yeah, I ain't like that. I think they jacked about 60 of them, though. You know what I mean? Corny. I think it was 60, Joe. I was mad at the score, dog. Like, 135 to 130 was an all star game score, and I did not like that at all. That wasn't real, real ball to me, man. I mean, I don't know what to call it. You know? I'm glad we got the win, but it is what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. Call it ain't that. too much going on in sports right now. You got the NFL combines going on. They kicked mm -hmm. one cat out the jump. Yeah, they did. They said he got into a fight with a hospital worker. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know what happened either, but, you know, he Boy, must not like too. the way they was uh, – Wrapping his ankle or something. I don't know. Bro. Something messing up his chance. Yeah, um, yeah. One of the wide receivers at the combine ran a 4.22. Fastest ever yeah. time at the Scott Combine. Chris Johnson was wilding out over that shit. Like, yeah, because he had the record. He had the fastest. And his joint you know, just got yeah. broke. You know what I mean? Yeah. But for a wide receiver to do it, uh, Leonard, what's his name? For for that? For Net? Yeah, for Net. Yeah, for Net. He, uh, they said he, uh, he didn't show up for the bench press. You done? They said they ain't yeah, show up they ain't, I mean, them dudes, when they go to the combines, man, it's not really about the weightlifting. They ain't worried about all that, man. But he ran like a 4 five forty, which is good money for a dude. He'll run back, he like 250 pounds. Yeah, but he always injured. The ball always injured, man. Yeah, true, true. It's three running backs, that's nice this year, man. It's supposed to be going the first round. It's supposed to be Fournette. It'll be on the young ball from Florida State, Dalvin Cook. Mm -hmm. And, uh, um... They talking about Ed the Eagles McCaffrey. trying to get him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Ed McCaffrey's son. Um, I forget. Where from Stanford, right? Stanford, yeah. Christian McCaffrey, yeah. Barry Sanders Jr. is a better running back than he was. He don't play there Barry no Sanders more. Jr.? But they ain't getting enough tick behind the ball. Oh, I didn't even know Barry Sanders' son was, was in the mix. Yeah, yeah. Look him up, man. He's he a beast, man. For, for what he is, where he at. I'm not yeah. going to say a beast in the league because he ain't there yet. Man. Yeah, man. Where he at, what he doing is it's, it's crazy. Man. Yeah, man. Shout out Russell Westbrook. You know, he like about to break down. Another historic record. night. Yeah, this boy was, he was he was snapping. They lost. And like, the loss. He was snapping. That's what I'm saying. I mean, what what are we doing here? So what you think that the, the triple double should amount to wins? They are. They are. They starting to add up the wins. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, we'll, are we talking about padding stats here? All star man, what's up man? You quiet as shit up here, dog. What's up, fellas? I'm man drinking that trust me vodka. That's all, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. trust me, man. Uh, I don't give a fuck about the combine. I can tell you that right now. But I do give a fuck about is the number one independent radio show in the world, the Cave. Word. Yeah. But uh, it's a lot of big free agents that hit the market this week. I'm surprised y'all ain't touched on that. We got we got about 89 Pro Bowls on the market right now. Brandon Marshall from the Jets. Yeah. Adrian Peterson, Jamal Charles, like yeah, people gonna get some money. Which one would you? But what do they have left in them? Personally. I always get you always got room for a Brandon Marshall. He ain't gonna drop the ball. He just need a quarterback. That's what I always say. The Eagles, yeah, they say I think the Eagles team. need a need a possession receiver, somebody that you can go to, run a route, or go get the ball. True. He can do it. True. He's been playing with shitty quarterbacks basically his whole career. So you're gonna take Brandon Marshall over somebody like uh Yeah, throw, throw me one out there. The young boy from uh that they talking about they might get from the Saints. Uh, Let me Brandon tell you, Cooks. Let me tell you why I'm not a big Brandon Cooks fan. Let's talk about it. Now, not to say that he won't be able to pop, but when you playing with a Hall of Fame, all-time great quarterback, you can look good. Now, with that, with that being said, is what he touched on playing with Breeze. At that point, yeah, you know, playing yeah, with Breeze, he's an attempt guy. 
so Breeze throw the ball 50 times a game. But not only does he throw the ball he 50 gonna get times, him he's, going to, he's going to hit it right you. at your hands every time. But so he's going to get them targets. He's used to saying. getting them targets, yeah, yeah. is what I'm saying. But he, I don't think – How that translates. I'm not, a, I'm not a fan, me personally, of a small receiver. Yeah. I'll take a tall receiver over a smart any day of the week. You, you know what I mean? I need a nigga when yeah. it's getting physical, third and two, third and three. He can stretch his arms out there and go get it. Get that. So I, I prefer – I think, personally, and I'm not an Eagles fan, but like I said, I want to see him do good. I think they should they should go after uh, outside Jeffrey from the Bears. Yeah. They need a big receiver. That would be a good Too many. Uh, they got That'd too many little receivers. Yeah, you need a big healthy. receiver that can go get it. So how you feel about the young boy from Clemson, uh, Mike Williams? Beast. Uh, nice. Possession receiver. Beast. Beast. Nice. What are you like, six uh, months, two? But y'all know where he projected to go. They got a rookie quarterback already. He's a veteran. You know where he projected to go. Arizona? Yes. Oh, they need a quarterback. They should take a quarterback. Oh, not, they got to stop not, living this Carson Palmer dream at 47 years old. It's not one, he was it's not one coming at league. It's not one coming at league this year. What do you mean league? Like as far as they pick? Yeah. I'm just saying it's I think they, they, they should have cut the nigga. I wouldn't even put no, him back. I would have cut him. You know what I mean? I would have said cut him and go for Romo. I would have cut him and went for Romo. If you go for a one year shot, I'm going for Romo, dog. Straight up. But I'm not a big Romo fan. I don't fuck with the Cowboys, but when Romo was on the field for them, that man produced. This is my thing about Romo. Everybody's acting like he's going to go somewhere and put somebody over the top. The man only won one playoff game his whole career. Let's put that in perspective. He, it's not like he ever put a nigga a, a squeeze. No, he's never put him over the top. That's what I'm saying. So I can't see him just going to where and saying, because I'm here, we're going to win. No, I only want to I would take him over Carson Palmer yeah, right now. now. Exactly. The injuries, I think, they've they caught up to him, too. Both, it's both of them. Yeah, I mean, what is both he? Both of them. Yeah. Like one or two ACLs? Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, none yeah. of them. He's older, man. Like, man, they got to do something, man. I thought I held the Trojans, I man. think for them, because I personally believe they got the best back in football, they got to get a quarterback and run that boy. You're going to waste him for four or five years. You're predictable without a quarterback. Yeah. You're very predictable. I'm surprised that the Vikings just cut AP like that. Oh, I'm not. Man. They ain't going to give you 19 million. That's like that's like yeah. the Eagles not re signing to beat Dark. Like, you got to. Yeah. Certain people. But you I know I, 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 I always tell way. people, yeah. I, I, I tell Beans this shit every year. I think it should be a, a rule or something to the side where if you got an all time great of a franchise, you should be able to pay them without it hitting your cap. You I, should I be able to make that. the decision to say, if, if that's your this man put in 10 years here, and, years. and, should go get and, and I should be able to pay him right. for what he did, because that right. 19 million got nothing to do with what he's going to do this year. Right. It got something to do with him being the most consistent Viking his whole career. Yeah. I now, I think I believe, because he's talking about going to my division, if he go to the Raiders, they got to be the favorite in the AFC. But that's what they're talking about going. Derek Carr's the, leg. Uh, yeah, 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 but that helps his leg. Oh, AP, yeah, got a, they already got a running back behind him, too. I don't know if I'm if I'm taking AP over Latavius Murray. Right? I don't no, no, no. I'm saying you got a chance to play them both the together is what I'm saying to you. True. You, True. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying True. take one over the other. True. It's hard to play them together because they're not intercha- interchangeable. One don't yeah, do but something not, different than the other do. Yeah, they yeah, yeah that's what I'm But you're not, that's what I'm saying, but you're not, you can you can save them play all time. Yeah, all game. Yeah, that's all you got to do. You got a quarterback coming back from ACL. You, want to say, you got two big running backs. Yeah. Yeah. I do like that, man. Like, you put in time, ten plus years. Yeah, you should be able to keep that player. I hate to, I hate, I, I, a, I hate to name. see great players switch teams eleven, twelve years in. You should be able to pay me, and it's just like you know what I mean. Like it's a luxury tag. You should be able to have whatever tax you want to call it, and I should be able to pay this man for what he did for my franchise. Yeah, old head tax. Yeah, so I'm like OG tax. tax. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, let's get that started, man. Yeah. Hashtag OG yeah. tax, that's, man. Yeah, that's like certain cool, certain things we shouldn't have had. We shouldn't have had to see B dogs in another uniform. No hell, you no. shouldn't nah. have to see AP in another like things like that, that, that should happen. Man. Like we from we from the era in sports where we from the era in sports where we won team niggas. All I all our greats played for one team. That was for a reason because. Teams took care of them. Now the money ain't the same, but still, you should be able to keep your all-time great player. Yeah, true. You shouldn't yeah. have to cut him. Like I ain't like how you know when the Sixers traded uh, AI. Yeah, to, yeah. To AI should always and all the Sixers. Oh, I like that. I, I like that movie. I didn't man. like that movie. I, like I, like that movie. That I did movie. not like that movie. The Bulls did man. so much. I like that. He movie bought so much to the city. Yeah, yeah. but he, put them, the, he, he had the young boy. They was feeling themselves too hard. He was partying too much. I'd be like, AI. Oh, you know that? Yeah, he was. Yeah, he wasn't a good example. You know what it was? He made you feel like. You could yeah, be there, you know, know what I'm saying? Larry, he yeah. was out, man. He you know what I mean? Mike Brother, nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Man. Yeah, man. 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 I'm telling you, man, felt like you could be part of that, though, man. Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah we true. was, uh, it, it was funny because speaking on the NBA for a hot second, we was, uh, I was in my basement yesterday, my uncle and my man and shit. We were discussing the Hall of Fame thing with the NBA. Cause the, I don't know if y'all peeped the finalists came out last week. Nah, this And they got, uh, like, you know, T Mac, Chris Webber, and a bunch of people on there. And my my thinking is, if Yao Ming got in the Hall of Fame, all these people on the cuffs got to get in. 
Who joined the Cubs? I didn't, I didn't I'm just saying, if you're talking about a player who, who only might have had five years, whether because of injury or whatever, no, I mean, all these guys, the like a team back, team back, yeah, yeah, automatically. You know what I mean? And uh, the Chief Webs. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. T Mac had a Hall of Fame career. Yeah, he, even God, if he I didn't, look, he was on the cusp of having it. I looked at the stats last night. Let me give you the stats. Okay, give me for that. seven years in a row, he was twenty six, seven and seven. For seven years in a row, T Mac. One of them a, years, he was thirty one, eight and eight. T Mac was a monster. Check it. He was T Mac is in the Hall of Fame. Give me one. Stevie Franchise and Gilbert Arenas should be in the Hall of Fame. No, I think Gilbert only had three year run. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, feel me? I can't get him over three years. No, run. nigga, three year run. The Wizards and the, and the Golden Truck State years. Fans, uh, I only give him a three year run. That's what I'm telling you. Gilbert Arenas only a three year run. Yeah, three four at the max. Three no. four at the max, guys. Gilbert was getting Agent, fifty Agent, out there. Anyway, Agent Zero. And he's, yeah. and he's about to shoot his man, so you know they ain't putting him in. He was doing. Agent Zero was crawling, yeah. dog. Yeah, they will throw some shit like that against this nigga. Poor guys in the locker room, like nigga, I need my money. Agent Zero was crawling. You got you know uh, but um, Yo, they shoot mean, the lights out in that motherfucker. The NBA, they they setting up for the playoffs. <laughs> um, I, I love the I love the moves the Cavs made of the end out the free agency. That's some nut ass moves though, man. I, I, I like I only like one of them. I like the boogie. Ron move. Williams. I like the I don't fuck with Ron Williams. I don't like that move at all. Off the bench? No, not at all. He's because he ain't. He's. I don't, it's too late for that. Who is, oh, Kyrie. But I love the bogey pickup for the Cavs. Cause I, see, I'm not big need, on the bogey pickup. Uh, yeah, I got to see. I think the Sixers should have traded bogey to them, man, because they, they. He already knew he was going to Cleveland. Yes. They, they did. didn't. You know what he told him? I heard, I heard the weather is nice this time of year. Well, the Sixers. <laughs> uh, that's why he said he went. I said, come well, on. The Sixers not, made man. another terrible trade. You tell the trade no more. You can't get no higher than the 19th pick. I mean, I don't know. These motherfuckers shouldn't even be in the city no more. We should move these niggas out. Guys. What are we expecting from New Orleans? Yo, listen, for New Orleans. What you mean? But I heard the league Nerlis really. Uh, the league really fucked Do with it. Do you think Nerlens Noel is going to make the All Star game? No, no he's not going to make All Star, but I think he's going to be a consistent player. I think he's going to give him a max deal. Would you give Nerlens Noel a max deal? The, I mean, no. we just we just saw. Oh, he can't get it. Oh, 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 he can't get it. When you just when you just saw in the all season, Luau Deng get five years, he's seventy-two trapped. million. He's trash. Yo, I gotta. You can't compare their talent to the money no more. That shit is out the window. The money is high. Timothy Moscow got sixty-six million dollars. I'm not maxing him out, dog. Somebody so who y'all gonna pay? And B. I mean, I mean, I'm 31 games is good enough for the Sixers. <laughs> as it, as you know, what my problem with the I Philly sports, I take it back to the Bobby Hoyes and the court. Philly, you get them three good moments, them niggas is excited. So when B gave you 31 games, then we're gonna build a team around fragile Timmy. Now next year when he go down again, what are we gonna say? Yeah, we maybe we, we should trade that nigga. All star, go ahead. You, you want the niggas I respect about this boxing thing, man? Danny Garcia fight tonight. Danny and Thurman. Who you yeah. got? Thurman is that's a horrible. A, that's a huge fucking. Thurman fight, is man. a horrible counter puncher. This is going to get Danny his first pay per view when he's going to well, not he's, keep Thurman out tonight. He's a big puncher though. So yeah. If he catch I, Danny, I, got I mean, that's Danny, the problem. I got Danny, Danny knocking out him out. Too. Knocking him out. More round. No, no, no. I think no, this might be the fight that gets Thurman. No disrespect, Danny. I think he's going to I like Danny Garcia. No, no, no. I'm listening. I like Danny Garcia. Yeah, I think Danny's going to knock him out. What round? What round you predicting? About six or seven. Think a knockout for Danny. Yeah, think a knockout. Yeah. I thought no, later than that for Danny. Yeah. If Porter ain't knock him out, I don't see Danny knocking him out. I hate Sean Porter. <laughs> Danny, yeah, I feel you. I but um, I think Danny, I think Danny's ready to, ready to step up. I think he's going to drop this ball. I really do. Yeah, man. Danny knocks him really out. Do. Like you said, Danny's pay per view at. Yeah, I think I think he's going. I think he got to get Hold a step up. I don't Go understand ahead. why, why fight Danny Broner. hasn't been pay per view. Like this ball is a consistent. Well, I mean, really, fighter, really, to be honest with you, pay per view don't exist. Pay per view don't exist. Only the real pay per view don't exist without Floyd Mayweather. So yeah. I, what I'm saying is, but maybe you, maybe you can uh, swing a. Uh, see, you can't even get him and Broner on pay per view because that nigga gets fucked up all the time. You I'm could get him and Broner on there now. Just split the city. Yeah, like, like, but I, think I don't you think you could get Danny and Broner right now. I don't think so. But I got Danny crushing. Adrian Broner, like that's not even gonna be close. Man, Broner. Broner's trash. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think my son, like give him six Broner, months, though. he can drop Broner. Yo, they I like said Broner. that we got the uh, Pacquiao and Americana. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I like Khan, though. No, I don't see Pacquiao. Yeah. Man. I'm Pacquiao. I mean, I want, I, I, want, I, want, I want Pacquiao to win because I want him to fight a nigga and shit, hopefully soon. Like, he's down yeah. bottom line. He has trouble with niggas. Yeah, yeah. like, he's he been ducking niggas his whole career and shit. He works with Donald Trump. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I don't know, man. Y'all see y'all, y'all see y'all, y'all president on the TV the other night giving that speech, talking that bullshit. I ain't watched that. Was that was good. That shit was. Yo, hold up. Was that the the speech where they was clapping for like a million minutes? Mm -hmm. A million. They was that ridiculous? They were talking some it was like bullshit. the setup. 
He sat up there talking some bullshit. And then they started clapping like, it looked like some cult saying. Yeah, because the nigga was like, they're they killing niggas the whole on. time. I don't be he's watching none of that. Talk, I don't watch none of that he shit. Told, uh, tune in just he told to niggas, to he told niggas Obama yeah, tapped man. the White House. He mm -hmm. scared to talk in the jaw. Like, yeah, this nigga talking. Trump Tower. Yeah, like, he said Obama tapped Trump. I'm like, this nigga is moving real good. Yeah, he tripped. I don't know. This is what America wanted, though. Like. Everybody's black now. It. Welcome Man, to Black America. It was it was basically I they love didn't it. want a female running the country. So well, I always I always say the one thing white people hate worse than niggas the is woman. women. There so I knew she wasn't getting in office. We knew that was going down. It's a damn shame. Man. White men beat their women at a rate like Hence the term <laughs> white beater. That didn't come from niggas. White beaters did they come from niggas. Ninety five <laughs> miles Yo, an hour, dog. Check it. Speaking of women, man, talk to me. What's up with Remy and the follow up? This track. That hey, Joe's whack. What's up with that uh with with, with nigga before the ass shot? That Joe wasn't looking right. Y'all saw that picture oh, she put pic? up? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, what's up with the I mean, we know she got some enhancements. No, no, the Joe, she should put up a pic for back and then I should have. Oh, no, no, she she, she got ass shot. Yeah. Everybody know that. Yeah. Like, everybody yeah. know it went that crazy though. Like it they yeah. really reshaped that motherfucker, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody yeah. doing yeah. that shit now. That shit looking like the ninety two uh pancakes with McDonald's and shit. I said, Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. This the hot cakes. Yeah. Crazy. You know what I mean? Hot cakes without the sausage, man. Hot cakes, they only give that I went to McDonald's, they gave me some hot cakes and a motherfucker. Plastic boy, I was ready to throw that shit, that bitch face. So yeah. you know, saying that I she had the white crepes, she had crepes, now she got yeah. hot cakes. Yeah. Now she got flapjacks. No, that bitch had June, she had my hop, that's what I'm saying. Damn. <laughs> yeah, the damn thing fucking work, dog. I feel like Remy should have... Should have just let it stay. Let me let it go, man. I, 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 let this Success shit, let it go. will make you hate anybody. Like, she's not... The bottom line is this. As successful as Nikki. When you have... Gonna hate. When you have less money, you're gonna automatically be called a hater. So once you jump off the bridge, keep fucking going. Like, dude, that's my thing. Like, I don't care. Like, cause rap... I hate every time a rap battle at the first thing is money. Money don't got shit to do with if you bars. a bitch. Cool. Nigga, cause you might have more money than me, but when I run it, I'm gonna slap the shit out you. But I don't, I don't got nothing to do with money, you see what I'm saying? Like, sometimes your talent got to speak. You know, even Floyd Mayweather, all the money, he still got to get in the ring and fight a nigga. He can't say, yo, I got all this money, so can't nobody fight me. Now, he might let only a certain few who's going to get him the 100 million fight him. But I mean, come on. Everything ain't about money, I mean. You got to just go for it. Nikki, um, Pat Pooch wrote that shit. She can't respond. What's she going to say? Yeah. What's she going to say? I don't know. No, 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 I'm just asking. She like, what is she going to say? Oh, she's going to say, yo, you a bum. That's all you're going to say. Just call her. Say, I got you know more money than you. That's all you're going to say, you a bum. Period. If she I was hurt, I wouldn't even reply she because. She can't get in there and say nothing hard. She's already you know? lost in the streets. You already lost in the streets. Like, yo, just stay home. Get your bread. Like, you lost in the streets. That don't mean, you know what I mean, you whack. And once you reply, you reply everybody, everybody, everybody take an L in life. Everybody Very. takes an L. Now, her and me been taking a lot during the last two years. Yeah. So I think they should come back together. <laughs> <laughs> and just try to bring you that L into a W because shit's going bad for these two niggas and they shit. They need one more L to throw into a yeah, W. Yeah, like this shit is ridiculous and shit. Like a w. Yeah, as you stop saying two L yeah, to a capital. W. You, you understood my metaphor. There we go. But um, yeah, so it's going Hold down. Up, man. 215 909 9925. Everybody's Rock Banshee, Mizzy Corleone. We got Sean King coming back. You said Rock Nation? Rock Banshee. I was about Rock to say, oh time. shit, them niggas coming up. Yo, stay tuned. Y'all trying to have me up here crying like Jim Jones? This shit, no, I'm just saying it. Go ahead. The cave. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the cave. Yeah, I'm going to say Bronco, man. There you go.